Hello everyone, Pudros here, and today, or well, at the time I'm recording, tonight, we are back once again to Project Sombweed. So, last episode, we got ourselves a nice little jerry can and, most importantly, an empty spiffo mug that is now my most valued possession. But we now have a new problem. We have to make it all the way from the Sunstar Motel back home, and that's gonna be it for this episode we're just gonna be making our way back home now i have a little bit of a problem which is it's the middle of the night and i don't have a flashlight and if i put this in my backpack i am gonna crush my ribs or well i'm gonna crush my whole body under the weight so i am doing my hardest attempt at essentially not dying let's see if this fits no it doesn't fit it's five okay uh let's see i don't need this gloves so i'm gonna just drop them and i don't think i can do anything else really so basically we're gonna be carrying this jerry can in my hand this one that reads gas on the label we're gonna be carrying it all the way from this motel on the very west side of town to the north of the town where our home base is and if necessary we're gonna kill anything that comes on our way so let's go there's still power so there shouldn't be any trouble traversing well the darkness although you can see i'm having problems moving oh boy i hope i don't trip in the dark because i cannot see anything okay we're on the street now i don't want to sprint too much and in fact i'm gonna just go look what is my character seeing okay that's a big horde that i hope doesn't see me let's continue nice and quiet down the street because once they hits oh boy we're we're screwed oh shit oh boy that's two Oh Jesus, I cannot see anything. Okay, that's good. Let's see if any of them had anything interesting. Okay, no, let's continue. No zombies inside except for that big horde over there. So let's get going. I'm even on the right track, which I am not apparently. I have to cut through the church. Hopefully these zombies don't see me. I'm gonna go through the forest. I oh Jesus. Nope. I'm gonna have to run. There's too many. Oh, Jesus. Let's see. I hope this house is not a lot. Never mind. Alright. Hopefully, I don't have to climb. Because if I have to climb, I'm screwed. Uh, I'm gonna eat the tortilla chips, by the way. Oh, uh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Climbing. Okay, I hear zombies and I cannot see them. I think I avoided them, so I'm gonna just stay away. Jesus, man, it's really dark in the middle of the night. Who would have guessed? I'm just gonna continue in a straight line until I see a street. If I hear a zombie, I know I'm screwed. Just continue. Oh my goodness. I think I'm coming close to a street. Yes, yeah, I think I see the pavement. If not the pavement, then at least something that tells me there's a street in here. Okay, so if I continue north from here, I should be getting home. And continue down this road, and then I turn to the left of my character, and I should find something. But, uh, what should I tell you about? Someone expressed concern about my well-being because of the wildfires that are going on. Don't worry, I'm okay. How did I hit that person? I am not sure. But yeah, wildfires are raging, so that's concerning. But I am away from the wildfires, so I should be okay. <gasps> Somebody moment. Let's not draw aggro from those two zombies and let's just continue. Okay, I see a trail of bodies, so I know I'm on the right way. I'm on the right track. Do the 
Did I leave anything on them? Uh, military boots, maybe, unless I already have some. These are bloody, so yeah, why not? Might as well save water and get rid of these, and let's continue. So, up north, it's already explored territory, so it should be okay. I'm gonna save some stamina, and it's also very dark, so I cannot see much ahead of me, or around me for that matter. Okay. So this is that, that other street with the car that I couldn't open, that I'm gonna have to dismantle later. But we're already safe, sorta. We're already in explored territory at least, so there shouldn't be any trouble. All I can say is that this is a very long journey from home to the gas station, so I'm gonna need a way to transport all this. Actually, I could use this as an opportunity to become a Sombuit nom Nomad live off the land and whatnot, have my cooking and stuff be done on a campfire. I actually could, that actually would be a very sound way of living, but I'm not very good at nomad runs. Plus I don't have mechanics leveled, so I think I have, yeah, I have a, gr I have a wrench. But yeah, a nomad playthrough would be nice, but I recognize it would be limiting. Hmm, all right, let's see. I'm just gonna continue over here, over my trail of destruction. I like this one, this piece of music a lot. It's very hopeful. No, I don't want to remove the flowers, I want to plant them somewhere else. But I would say we made it. We made it home in just 10 minutes. So I could actually use this time to consider the possibility of a nomadic lifestyle more. Mainly because, well... A nomadic lifestyle would make it easier to gather supplies and whatnot. The only downside is that I would have to stop for cooking and water and other things. I cannot be a nomad forever. The yurt can only provide for me so much. And we are back home. Now, at gasoline. Hell yes. Let's see, did I leave the trunk open? feel so dumb. I literally already had a gas can. I, I'm so dumb. Like, ain't nobody dumber than me right now. Anywho, let's check on the generator. Fuel zero, condition 100. Right. And home sweet home. So, beef, beef, and, beef stew, I'm gonna eat it all. No point in saving it anymore. And just in time, because I got the package moodle. Let's see, device options, turn on. So, I'm gonna put you here, turn off the annoying alarm, device options, amp up the volume a bit. So I have first, lots of first aid books, I have a lot of tapes actually lol, but I think the TV programming ended, yeah no point doing this now, turn off, yep, well, shows are missed. And I think it's time that I consider moving base, because the isolated house is a good starter base, but it's not good on the long run. So, let's see. That was a loud scream, sir. So, this is gonna be my bailout house for now. But from here, I think I have a new destination, down south. This place... This place right here is gonna be the new base, so we'll get there, but not in this episode. I'm already almost 30 minutes in, and I think it's time I say goodbye. So, that's gonna be the end of the video. If you liked it, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, of course. It's free and it helps out the channel a ton. And as always, have a good one. Oh, yeah, 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 oh, yo, yo.